About to make one of the darkest beats you ever heard. Now that we've got a basic melody, that's tough. I'm just gonna mess with a couple of the sounds, like reverse a couple and add them as more layers. So that bell, for example, bells are really good to reverse just from what I've cooked up recently. So reverse a bell like this. And we can even pitch it down an octave. We're gonna lay down some drums i'm gonna go to the cody kit because it's got some really solid just simple drums like if you don't want to overthink just go to cody's go to 2021 drum kit it's got all the sounds you could possibly need bro i'm gonna be completely honest about to spit some real game for y'all bro i've had creative block for literally like two or three months bro i made way too many beats in january and i just got stuck so you know what i'm saying i had to switch it up and try some new methods for making beats recently and this is what i came up with so we're trying some dark type of vibes because i really just like put how i'm feeling into the beat so this is the first layer we got from wave station it's the rainforest uh preset and this is what it sounds like It's hard to hear, but it's really just the ambient layer that is one octave low and then one octave higher. So it adds kind of like a like a majestic vibe to the beat. Next sound is from Monopoly. You know what I'm saying? It's some ambient pad layer. Just a simple little EQ on it. Don't want to do too much with the effects on this one because I want it to be more raw. That just repeats. Next sound from Purity is Little Step Fasten. And this is what it sounds like. This reverb, this halftime, I raised it to 210 hertz is the cutoff for the halftime, so it's not muddy. And then we got this little EQ right here at 212. Really simple repetitive pattern that you probably heard a thousand times, but you know what I'm saying? Beat block's been crazy. This chorus preset, this reverb, and this EQ. Same pattern, just a different layer. One more sound, we got this sound from Purity. One of the leads, we got Mad Delay, this halftime preset, this reverb, and then this EQ. And it's a PM, PWM phase, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
just mad random and it it's just like it just adds to the to the feels of the beat last time we got was originally this right here I played this one on the keyboard and then I quantized it and did a bunch of other stuff to it. Uh, I did control A, alt R, randomize the notes. And then I did alt S to strum this um, after I played it in because it's kind of defeated the purpose of playing it in. But sometimes I just mess around with the MIDI keyboard to try and find a new pattern or a new rhythm. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for this. That just repeats. And then what we did is we exported that and we reversed it and we pitched it down an octave and then minus three because I ended up transposing the whole thing up three. So we had to go up three uh, little clicks on the pitch knob in order for it to stay in the scale. So here's what it sounds like. As I like timeless type of vibe to it. And this is what it sounds like. That's the melody for the drums. It took me a minute, but I came up with this. So basically, I'm gonna show you how it's laid out for the song and then the sounds as well. So boom, simple clap from the Cody kit, the Pierre clap. And then this is how it drops, right? Basic two-step hi-hats and I cut it up so that you'll see what happens when the drop goes. But we have a second hi-hat pattern right here. This is the hi-hats. And then we've got a we've got a kick as well. With the hi-hat, the clap, and then a kick. Super simple. Bouncy. And we got two different 808s as well. So we got the Love Scars 808. That goes with the kick. And then we got this 808. It's like a Zay 808. So this is what it sounds like all together. So this is what I was talking about with the hi-hats for the drop. And then a pause. Like that, just like that. Then the kick comes in. And then it switches to a different 808. Then the kick leaves and it's just 808 and it rocks out with the melody right here. And it switches back to his two step and then it repeats. So I'll play the whole beat together now. It sounds like this. I appreciate y'all for watching this. If y'all want me to do more tutorials like this, um just dark like ambient like hard beat tutorials for like lucky or future or anybody like that let me know in the comments uh what type of tutorials y'all need if y'all are trying to make a specific type of beat let me know in the comments i'll try to make a tutorial for it and yeah check out the beat i appreciate y'all i love y'all see y'all in the next video subscribe for me we're almost still at 1k and yeah join up in the discord send the link right there bro click it join up we got some fire in there uh and i'll see y'all in the next video man